Uh, girlfriend leaving for religious mission. Hey, Billy Ballbag. My girlfriend and I are both college students. And although we haven't been together for too long, I could tell she is special in the way when you meet the one you just know. She's the person I have. She's the best person I've ever met. Kind, funny, intelligent. And on top of that, just drop dead gorgeous. Well, Jesus, lock that down, dude. Um, If things seem to be too good to true. What? If things seem too good to be true. Jesus Christ. I have some, I got to have some form of fucking mild dyslexia. Or I'm even dumber than I thought. It's a rough one. Uh, uh, things seem too good to be true. They are. She's Mormon. Oh, jeez. And she's leaving for her mission in July. If you don't know um, Mormons, I don't give a shit about Mormons. And just anybody who's actively religious, you know, to the point it, it, it affects the decisions they make in life. Other than basic shit like, you know, don't throw a rock at that guy because you wouldn't want him to do it to you. You know, I, I'm, I'm with that. But, you know, when you start forming other opinions on your fucking religion, uh, I don't know. it starts to get a little, uh, a little, uh, Zion, Tala Christi, Judy, Buddha, fucking ism, whatever, all of them, throw them all in one fucking Muslonian, just uh, a big fucking pot. You can stick it all in a fucking pot, right? Yeah, there you go. Shove it in the microwave, right? Turn it on and don't shut it off. All right, she's a Mormon, and she's leaving for her mission in July. If you don't know, Mormons are a type of Christian. I didn't know that. And they send missionaries around the world to convert people into their religion. And she's getting sent to Zimbabwe. Fucking Zimbabwe. They leave for two years, have to pay for everything themselves, and aren't allowed to contact home the entire time. Why aren't they allowed to contact home the entire time? That's fucking weird. If she goes, not only would that be the end of us, but it seriously hurts chances of her future career aspiration. We both want to become doctors. I'm an atheist, but I've recently found myself praying to Jesus that she doesn't actually go because if and when she leaves, that will be the end of it. I don't know what to do. Should I break things off now? Should I try and convince her not to go? Waiting is not an option for me because we'd be completely different people by the time she gets back thanks and go fuck yourself um i don't know dude i'm starting to think maybe she isn't the one for you if you're just gonna you know if you have to debate telling her not should i just break it off or tell her not to go i mean i think if she really loved this woman you would you'd be going i'm just gonna talk to her until i'm blue in the face and tell her not to go. And then even if she went, you'd be thinking like, well, maybe, you know, you'd have a ray of light going. Well, maybe to two years, I don't know, if we agree to fucking cool it for two years, you know? It's only two years when you look at the rest of your life, you're kind of like, yeah, we'd be two completely different people. Uh, should I break it up now? I don't know. Yeah, look, she wants to go to Zimbabwe, let her, you know, to spread the fucking word of uh, whatever the fuck they're doing there. Yeah, let her go. Just, you know, if, what, what do you, listen, if somebody wants to go somewhere to go do something, what are you, you going to tell them not to go? Go ahead. You know, I, I, go ahead, go, go spread the fucking dumb shit they put in your head and go, go, go spread it on the other side of the world. It's poor fucking Zimbabwe peep, Zimbabwean people. Now you went fucking Zimbabwe. And you know, I was assuming you meant because it's so far away, you couldn't visit her. Let's see what's going on in Zimbabwe right now. Zimbabwe. That's exactly how it should be spelled. Z I M B A B W E. I'd be such a great fucking speller if everything was spelt like Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe. Z I M B A B W E. Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe soon will be converting you to Mormon. Do, do, do. You got to go two years of your life to fucking. For what? All right, Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe is a beautiful country in southern Africa that is known for its dramatic... Wait, 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 wait. Come on. Oh, this is the government. This is the government website. So this is all the propaganda here. Yeah, it's absolutely beautiful. You can have your wallet fucking taped to your chest. No one will take it. Everybody's wonderful down here. Everybody's welcome. Please come down and spend all your fucking money, you know, if you don't mind. Zimbabwe was voted uh, the number one place in Zimbabwe to go three years in a row. 
Wow, Jesus, look at that fuck. That puts Niagara Falls to shame. Holy shit. Zimbabwe is a beautiful country in southern Africa that is known for its dramatic landscapes, its diverse wildlife, see cobras and tigers, and its hardworking people. Home to the great Zimbabwe Monument, the mighty Victorian Falls, and the majestic Eastern Highlands. The country also boasts of world-class national parks in which a variety of animals, including the Big Five, can be found. The Big Five! What the fuck are the Big Five? Big Five. I gotta go lion. Who's your Big Five? It's like the Chris Rock movie, Top Five. Give me a Big Five. I'd say the Big Five. Uh, You gotta go lion... Tiger, elephant, doubt a doubt, right? That's like Montana, Brady, and Johnny Unitas. The third one, you never know, right? Whatever. They're, they're in everybody's top five if you know anything about football, right? All right, lion, tiger, elephant, hippos, rhinos, giraffes are big, gorillas. Some big motherfuckers. Hang on a second. Now I got to look up Big Five. See, this, this is how you do it. Well, you know, I'm going to get the sports club. Big Five sporting good. Big Five animals in Africa. All right. In Africa, the Big Five game animals are the African lion. Bang! The African elephant. I like it says African, you know, like what? As opposed to what? The Rhode Island one? The one at the fucking zoo? The Cape Buffalo. Oh. The African leopard. Ah. And the white slash black rhinoceros. All right, so I got three out of right. I said hippo, rhino. Well, where the fuck's the hippo? Big five game. All right, in Africa, the big five game animals are American. Okay, the lion, the elephant, the buffalo, the leopard, and the rhinoceros. Oh, is this the thing that dentists pay to fly over and go fucking shoot these things? All right. All right. So there you go. So we learned a little something here. That's the big five. Uh, the largest of these are the National Park in the west and the something else Trans Frontier Park in the south. Has a total area of 390. All right. Let's get to the, let's get to the real questions. Um, Americans welcomed... In Zimbabwe, did we do anything? Did, did, did the upper 1% in this country piss them off? All right. Americans in Zimbabwe. Da, 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 da. And it's just, uh, are you looking for fellow Americans in Zimbabwe? No, I'm not looking for a fucking pen pal. Six things I had wrong. This is the last thing I read about Zimbabwe here. All right. Six things I had wrong about traveling to Zimbabwe. Look at those elephants. I fucking love those things. I cannot believe people kill those things. How could you kill an elephant? I couldn't kill any of those fucking things. Um, all right, the top five things. Six things I had wrong about traveling to Zimbabwe and one I had right. Number one, Zimbabwe is dangerous. Uh, at Matador, we believe most travel advisories and American perceptions of overseas destinations being dangerous are way overblown. I enjoy visiting the city. Da, 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 da. The big cities, um, the big cities are the, are where the most violent crime is concentrated. Like in the United States, it wasn't a surprise that then that Victoria falls, as well as the couple national parks we visited felt it just about as safe and as friendly as any place can get. In fact, Victoria falls has such a small town feel that, other journalists joked it had the vibe of a U.S. national park in the off season. All right, cool. Zimbabwe's wildlife has all been wiped out. This was a big one for me. I love seeing wildlife. This is making me want to go there. Three, hyperinflation will make buying things a total hassle. After seeing years of new coverage, hyperinflation, I was expecting blah, 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 blah. I'd have to carry around bricks of $10, $10 billion notes to buy a bunch of beer. But the currency of Zimbabwe has become so worthless, they've retired it completely, and the country now operates on a mix of foreign currency, including the South Africa. Okay? Beyond the wildlife, there's not much to do or see. There's rafting, bungee jumping, micro light flying over Victory Fall, fishing, swimming. All right, well, what the fuck did you get right? I'm not reading all this shit. 
Look at this fucking video. Swimming in Victoria Falls. Get the fuck out of here. This is this thing that looks like it's bigger than Niagara Falls. No fucking way! So basically the water isn't flowing fast enough that these fucking guys... Okay, I got to put it, send a link to this video. Who is the absolute fucking psycho that figured out you could do that? Dude, if you just saw the pasty, fat fucking white dude who just jumped in there. You know what's funny? He's there with two fucking... Two black guys, man. It'd be funny if they grabbed him and threw him over. That was for slavery. <laughs> But I didn't do it. All right. Let me. Uh, all right. I got a copy of that. Jesus Christ. What a fucking lunatic. There's no no way. There's no fucking way. No fucking way.